Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Hi. We are the last team for the category Android, and our team is A6. Our team's name is Brainwave. I'm Archana, Vansi Nadan, Sayashwin, and one of the teammates is not here. Her name is Varsha. So our main focus is on modules in NUS and especially project-based learning, which NUS stress a lot because it has hands-on experience. Here we have considerable weightage given to projects. In project-based modules, the the exam or something else is very less percentage, whereas the project as such is of a larger percentage. So, and moreover, most projects are group based, where you have to work with uh, like a group numbers, uh, members, numbers ranging from two to even eight. So, so what does it cost? Now, what do the students say about project based modules? It's challenging to handle more than one project module because you, you'll be working with a, uh, with a group of people which will be different from each module. It's hard to multitask because you'll be working on something in one project and immediately you'll have a meeting for another one and so deadlines are very closely packed together. And then it's difficult, difficult to set meetings in between classes and CCAs because you have so many modules, you have projects for them and then you have CCAs otherwise in NUS also. So there's a lot of confusion in this whole process. So it's very difficult for students to manage all this. They really have to be very good to manage all this. If you ask any NUS student, they would say it's very difficult to manage like more than two or even one project module in a semester. So what we have developed is something to make the students' life, e lives easier and it's a one-stop solution for project-based modules. It does not restrict to project-based project modules. It also supports the normal modules where you have exams, tutorials, and stuff, but the focus is on project-based modules. So here we present our app, Organize Buddy. There are various features. First, I'll go into projects and modules. So in the projects and modules, we have quite a few features as well. Firstly, when you have a project, you have group. So first of all, you need to form a group. There is a provision in IVLE to form a group. So we have supported that here as well. You can join, form a group through the app itself. So we can form groups. And after forming groups, there are a lot of features which come in. First is tasks. Now if you have a project, right, what happens is you have a lot of tasks which you have to manage. You have to go through email threads and find out what task was assigned to you, what you assigned to yourself and stuff. So here we have developed an individual task feature which you can manage in the app itself and it's organized by module. So organization for projects is very well done using this task, uh, task feature. So first of all, you can add tasks for each project for each module. You can set status like ongoing, you know, I have difficulty, so you, uh, so other members will be notified and stuff like that. And you can set priority, so it organizes by priority, so you know what to work on. Then you can also customize tasks by deadline or priority, and you can view all your completed tasks. So you know where, what's the, your progress in the whole project, whether you've completed all the tasks or not. Next, apart from this, you know you have your own task. Because you are working on your own task, you know what, uh, I mean, what you're supposed to do. But you might not know what your other group mates are working on. So for that, we have this group task feature where you can view task list of all project mates. This uh, another additional feature, the group leader gets notified if a task status is set to difficult or completed. And the group leader can assign tasks as well. Why do we have this? Because the group leader is the one who collaborates with the team and overlooks the team's progress. So what is the, uh, the main thing of the task? It makes it easier to manage and organize projects. Now we go on to discussion board. My friend Vansi will continue with it. Thanks a lot, Ashina. So you heard about uh, <coughs> the task, so I'll now move on to discussion board. Uh, NUS IVLE supports a forum in which you speak to people in the cohort. 
But uh, if you are in a project team, then you'll have like five or six students, and you will keep on sending email threads, and the email threads become big and big. So if we could do that easily, then it'll be easy for students to manage their time. So we got into this concept of discussion board. So what can you do with our discussion board? You can start a new topic of discussion within your project group mates, and then reply to threads and share ideas, and then view all topics of discussions together with the main post menu. Additionally, project members get notified if there is a reply to their particular post. So that helps in making sure that uh, their question is being answered. So in short, Discussion Board is a platform for easy brainstorming and discussions just among project mates. Now my friend Ashna will continue with uh, scheduling. So in scheduling, right, as we said before, in one group, uh, first of all, we look into calendar. Here, the person's timetable is displayed as usual, but we have one feature which adds on, which is different, which makes it different from other timetables. Now the thing is, it displays the timetable and is easy to navigate. But whatever meeting slots are there, it gets added. Whatever meetings are scheduled for you, it gets added into the timetable as well. So the meeting, there's a meeting feature that is collaborated with the timetable feature as well. So we'll go into the meeting detail now. So here we have meetings. Now there are too many project modules, and CCS make it very hard to schedule for meetings. You have a lot of people each, people, each person has their own schedule, their own events and stuff. So what we have done is, we have come up with our own scheduler. You input the date and the module. The, the date is such that you want, to, you want to schedule a meeting for that particular date. So we ask for the date, and then the module, because you want to schedule a meeting for that module. So it looks into the other group mates for your, that module. And it set up meetings for projects automatically. What it does is it finds out free slots for all the group mates and displays the slots available to you. So you can choose the most convenient slot. And you, you know for sure that other group mates are free at the same time. So it makes this whole process very simple. There are no multiple text messages going around asking if you're free this time, or like, you know, you don't have to call and waste time. This one stop, you schedule a meeting. Additionally, we also have a feature where you can create a meeting for a particular date and a particular time. Let's say you know for sure, OK, we have to set this meeting because we have a deadline coming up. So the project mates have to be able to come for it. So we have that feature as well. Yep. So now we'll go on with the navigator. Sayashin will proceed with it. Before I start my section on the navigator, I'd like to share an incident with you. While I was coming by the campus bus, I met a freshman who had to go to the Clementi uh, to open his bank account from PGP. He had boarded the campus bus, and someone told him to get off at the use of hall and take a 189 from there, which he could easily uh, have done by get, uh, boarding a 183 from the back of PGP. So this uh, automatically signifies the need of a, a navigator app in NUS, which uh, makes use of the campus transportation facilities as well as the public transport flying by NUS. So let me introduce you the my next feature of our app, the navigator, which primarily focuses on the campus bus routes. It uh, helps students to navigate throughout campus using uh, the shuttle bus service. Uh, and it also uh, plots the designated path on a real world map. And uh, it also displays the current location on the map so that it, uh, it is easy for the student to like, uh, navigate through the path which he's traveling. So for now, we've uh, just covered, um, for now, we just covered uh, shuttle bus service A. And we'd uh, look forward to create uh, the include the services of uh, B, C, D, and other public transport services. So what we need to do here is just input the source and the destination where we need to go, and the algorithm automatically predicts the route in which you need to pass pass by, and uh, it is the exact and the shortest route. 
So using this, uh, uh, you, using this feature, you need not uh, worry about getting lost uh, in the campus again, which is really useful to the freshmen who are like very new to campus and get lost quite easily. And if just in case if they have a project meeting and uh, they get lost, they're not able to navigate to the project meeting. So this uh, feature could help them to get to their uh, project meeting on time, thereby not wasting uh, time on uh, get, uh, getting lost on campus. Um, and uh, the technical details of our uh, app is that we need, uh, we need a smartphone running Android 2.2 uh, or higher, and we need a Nusnet ID and a password used. And we've used the student info API over here. And uh, we hope to uh, bring forth the following uh, announcements in our app, like auto-generate meeting slots for a particular week or a month, add meetings and appointments for CC activities, uh, inclusion of GAN chart and uh, progress uh, charts for uh, uh, different projects of different modules, and uh, inclusion of uh, different shuttle bus services like BCD and uh, public transport. And uh, so to wrap it up, uh, I, we feel that organized body would be a student's scheduler, planner, organizer, manager, and enhance the student life in NUS. And uh, we'd like to present to you a video which has been shot uh, 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 where we've interviewed the uh, NUS students on how, what they feel about this module, about, what, uh, about this uh, app. I really like the feature where it auto schedules meetings. Um, I think now that we have a lot of project modules and the group sizes have been in groups of six or seven and it becomes really hard to find the right timetable and find a backup time where people can meet. I think such a feature will really be useful. And uh, the many of my out of campus residents, especially first year, sometimes I have to work with them and they come, they're not sure where to go and how to reach there. And I think this app will be a very useful feature um, for um, I feel that this feature where you can you know organize meetings and uh, you know see when my other group page should be free would be really useful for me for example I have so many projects coming up in my next semester and I'm sure that it will help reduce the time we take and you know texting each other and emailing each other knowing when our free slots are and I'm sure this would improve our efficiency greatly and reduce the time taken you know spending time on you know things which which don't which are not really so productive so I, I would really use this app with this feature especially. Thank you. Uh, my personal favorite is the navigation feature. And um, it's quite a daunting task to get around in US as it is. And uh, given my cram timetable, it's, uh, this app is quite a boon to save time because it helps me deduce the easiest way to get from one place to another. It's particularly helpful because it caters to the NUS campus and helps me choose from between NUS buses as opposed to other public buses. I think uh, the app is going to be very useful for NUS students since a lot of us will be doing uh, projects definitely. Um, then a lot of us will be using um, iPhone. So um, this app helps um, each group to delegate their job properly to each group member so they know what to do. They are updated of uh, each groups group members um, progress so I think uh, this uh, app will uh, have a lot of potentials in the future yeah. Uh, yeah so you might have mentioned you might have heard that that guy mentioned iPhone because it was a random person we met on the way and we asked because we wanted to get random view not just our friends view about the app so he didn't really catch that we were developing for Android, so that's why, yeah. So now we'll go on to the demonstration of the app as such in the emulator. This is mine.
Yeah, so in the, uh, in the emulator, we have set our location for computer center. So it'll be later on used in our app. Uh, so we entered our metric number and our password. So we have the four features which we mentioned, the modules, the timetable, meetings, and the navigator. So first we go into modules. So let's say we choose MA1505. Here we go into individual tasks where the student is, uh, should be able to view his, uh, his individual tasks. So the, uh, the finished readings is the task name, and its priority is set to low, then the deadline, and it shows that it's a created task because he himself added the task. If a project mate assigns it to him, then it's, it comes as an assigned task. And so if you click on this, you can change the uh, status of the task to the red indicates that it has having, uh, he has having, uh, he's having difficulties in it. So now if I click on ongoing, the status uh, must change. We are using a free uh, database server, so it takes a bit of a time for it to change. Probably if we could enhance it with IVLE, the actual server, then it'll be much more better. So, just, yeah. so it just changed to ongoing. Then if I long press on this, it gives the task details. Then I can go and edit the task. I can, you know, change the deadline if the module's uh, deadline changes. Or, you know, I can just do anything with it. Then I can also delete the task which we saw. But let's mark this task as complete. So it should go away from my task list. Oh, sorry. Sorry, this was one of the uh, previous completed tasks. So I marked this one as completed. So it goes away. Now if I go to view completed tasks, so it shows the previous one also. It shows that it is completed here. So this is about task list. Now we'll go on to group tasks, where you can view your other group mates' uh, tasks. So here we have this project. In this particular module, he just has one other project member. So if we click on him, we get his tasks. So, yeah, we can move on to the next feature now, uh, the discussions. Yeah. So basically, uh, the discussions is a place in which you have interaction between uh, various users in the team. Uh, so, so there is one post which has already been pasted, so I'd like to show you this post over here. So this lists the post and who has posted and what is his content. So you can add a new post, uh, enter the comment, and then post it. Yeah, so it appears over here. Yeah, it's refreshing. Similarly, you can also delete the post. You have this delete post option over here. And uh, so now uh, for creating a post, you just click menu and then uh, new post, and then you enter all the details, and uh, you post it onto the forum. Yeah, so now we'll move on to meetings and scheduler. Yeah. So now we'll go on to meetings first. Now let's let's go to the auto meeting auto meeting where you specify the date and the module and then uh, I forgot to mention in the presentation that the number of hours you want for the meeting can also be given here. So I choose the module as MA1505 because we have set in the database that in MA1505 he has a group mate. So um, let's select let's say. Um, oh, sorry. Let's select next Monday. Then let's say we want like two slots. Two hours. 
uh, a two hour slots. Then we click on generate meeting slots. So it takes a bit of a while, as we said, because of the free database server which we are using. Yeah, and then we have an autocomplete feature here as well, which is al also used in the navigator. Um, so here, you can, there's only one slot available on Monday, so he has no option but to choose this slot. So actually, these, all this can be verified from the student info API, the timetable for the two users. So he chooses this. And then in the venue, right, uh, if you start typing, let's say, com1, so co, then I see m, then it says, I want to, it auto-completes the thing, so it's easy for him to, you know, schedule his venue. Then agenda for the meeting. Okay. So, so he clicks on submit. Um, this one is because I, before just coming, just before coming here, I tested this, and there's a meeting already added in the database. Probably I can reset it in a while when my other group mate is specifying, and then I can show you this again. Then, as we specified in the create meeting, you you can just specify the module, the date, and also the start time and the end time, and you can create a meeting as well. And both are uh, scheduled together, meaning. Uh, all this is integrated together, as in there's no dif difference. So now if we go into the calendar, then it displays the whole timetable. And we've added like images so that it's easy for him to view like right away what class it is and stuff. And even meetings get added here. So now, since we're running short of time, I'll go ahead with my friend's feature. It's Navigator. OK, uh, Navigator is just a uh, very simple it's a really simple UI and really easy to use. It's a user-friendly UI. So as Archana told already, uh, this uh, it auto-completes the whatever you type here. Like if we say I want to go from Prince George's Park residence to the present the, location is yeah, computer center, and I get predict route. And uh, this displays that uh, my nearest, uh, I'm at the Prince George's Park residences here. So I need to walk 179 meters to the PGP terminal. So I need to board an A1 there, which goes all the way towards the Lower Kentridge Road. And uh, I have to get down at the Central Library and uh, walk 105 meters to reach the computer center. And this dot blinking over here suggests that we are near the, Prince, uh, near the computer center. And uh, when uh, given on a real phone, this would be like traversing through the entire route and uh, reaching it over there. And uh, one more feature which we have is the notifications. So it displays all the notifications for the user. So over here it says you have a meeting scheduled for uh, ME1405. This is the reason why uh, the <laughs> thing failed uh, when we tried to schedule it. Yeah. So you get uh, the list of uh, all the meetings and so on. So this notification helps him to uh, know what is happening with respect to modules. Yeah, so this is, uh, in short, uh, what our app can do. So we are uh, thinking of enhancing more features to make sure that this app is even better than this. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Uh, I I personally think uh, you you guys you guys the idea the concept the um, you know what you guys are doing uh, the application itself I think it's it's brilliant I think I really really like uh, uh, you found something in terms of a, a problem like project management and actually. Uh, created a solution for that to, to manage uh, students' projects and, and so and so forth for the modules and, and, and so and so forth. I think that's a great idea. 
Um, however, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's always a but. Yeah, yeah, it's always a but. Um, hey, Simon Cowell always has a but, right? Uh, anyway, so um, what I don't understand is why did you uh, uh, create a navigator? Uh, what's the purpose of it in this uh, application that's so focused on project management? Because it doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem there is any relationship between the two. Okay, uh, basically right. I I've seen this app is a is a is a product of the problems we have faced in our previous semesters. We are final year students and we have spent three years here already. We see that the projects are not sometimes the project meetings are not efficient because people come late. You have to wait for them and stuff. This navigator actually helps you locate the shortest route. We already ha we also had another feature through which we we can we can detect uh, we can find out when the shuttle buses arrive we, we we can use the iris next bus to find out the public transportation but let's say my fr my groupmates are all available in nus campus they can't use like 96 to commute from pgp to here or like 183 from there to here so we were trying to include the shuttle net project as well but that one is still in developing phase in the school of computing so we were not able to integrate it properly because buses are not flying so much these days. No, uh, what, what, I, what I'm saying is that it, it doesn't, like the navigator doesn't fit into your overall project management uh, 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 idea. Okay. What, what I feel right, could, could have been done was actually uh, integrate it together with the meetings okay. where once you have you're, you're, uh, uh, identified the location for the meetings and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. And integrate it also to your notifications, where your notifications, you know, hey, you've got a meeting, you're currently here, this is the shortest route to your next location, mm -hmm. get there now, you know, that kind of thing. And that's where I can see a navigator assisting me in, in as part of the, the fundamental idea, which is project management. And I think that's, that's what you guys should have done rather than just create a navigator that's uh, that's that that's pretty much separate to your entire application concept itself, right? Um, with that said, uh, the the UI itself, the interface and everything itself is it's actually very nice, uh, it's clean, but uh, in terms of utilizing the uh, the the aspects of of all the um, you know the it's not it's clean but it's not there yet do you, you get what i mean you know like you could have used tabs you could have used other things to actually bring out more functionality of your application rather than keeping it just you know just like that right um and and you know the long press and whatnot you know one of the things i don't like about android is actually there is no indication of when do you long press and when do you not long press and so and so forth so uh, that's 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 android Right, not your fault, but uh, that's something that you guys need to think about also in terms of when creating a, a user experience, a great user experience. But so far, in terms of having a clean interface, I think it's great. It's just that you need to take one more step further to create a great experience. In terms of the features and everything you have in terms of discussion, you know, the groups, tasks, all that fantastic, well done. It's very well focused on your topic, on what you want to achieve, what you want to solve, and you guys know what you want to do in terms of this application, the purpose of this application, which is very refreshing to, uh, to actually hear and, 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 and you know, have this kind of application. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot for your feedback. Uh, I just wanted to add something to what you said. Like, similar to notifications, we have this feature. So we can display all the group members. So when you click on the group member's uh, name, it will call that particular person. So using that, you can also make sure that your uh, group mate comes for the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, uh, this is one of the features which we forgot to show it to you. So this helps you to make sure that your group mates are on time. We actually had a lot of features in mind, but you know, given the time constraint, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine not to have all the features, but it, it needs to. I mean, the the features that you currently implement needs to uh, uh, needs to be in a in a common uh, uh, you know 
basically a common topic, a okay. common, uh, uh, you know, so which in this case is projects. So everything that you do must be must be based on the fundamental problem you're solving, which is project management. Which I think it, I think you guys have done a great job already, right? Up yeah. to now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyone? Why have I covered everything? All right. Um, okay. Uh, in terms of as as what uh, Justin has said, I, idea wise, yeah, it's 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 great. Um, it's it's very nice to see that uh, someone uh, understands the fact that um, when it comes to application design, you need to identify a problem, right? And and when you identify a problem, you create something to try and address that problem, and then uh, use whatever skills you have to enhance it, and use the app to to not only help to solve the problem but enhance your life as well. That's, that's one of the key things an app uh, that makes a successful app. And, and yeah, it, I, I'm with him in terms of the navigator being just a little bit out of that way. Yeah, because you were so good in focusing on the project management and then there's this little child come along. Yeah, I'm a navigator. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, like a cameo, it's like a cameo appearance, you know. Hi. Yeah, but, but uh, it would be great if you were able to, to, to I mean, in, in some way, in, my, in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking maybe they're just including it so that they can show off their, they can use the map API. <laughs> but but what, what, I, what I feel is that, um, yeah, try to integrate it. Maybe, maybe a, a, a friend finder, maybe you, you have the group members, right? So maybe if they were to sort of uh, be able to register their location onto your database server, you know, when they are, when they are, when uh, whenever they are on their phones are on, right? You can see where they are, or when it's nearer to the meeting, you can see where they are. So you know whether they are coming or not. You know, so it, so then you can you can you can use the map in that manner. So at least there's there's more integration now in terms of the UI. Okay, um, if, if one thing that I don't like was your module page. Oh my God, that was. Please, please do not do that <laughs> with the books and everything. Yeah, it's um, you, you need your your presentation was clean. Keep it clean, right? Um, you want to have icons for the most uh, important stuff, like the first page. Four icons there. Segregation solid, right? When it is supposed to be a list, make it a list. It doesn't matter if it looks dull. Make it a list because it's a list, right? Uh, when 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 it's boring, people want it to be boring. When it's when it's exciting, people want it to be exciting. You don't give them a mixture and they get confused, right? Um, one, one thing I, I also think that there is missing was that uh, if you go back to the uh, module, uh, yeah, can you go back to the module? Click on the, uh, yeah, click on, yeah, just click on one of the modules, yeah. right? Okay, uh, go back out. Okay, then click on another module. You don't know which module you're in. Yeah, you don't know which module you're in, uh. right? So, so. Do, do take note of that. Um, um, in, in applications, it's very, very important for the user to know where they are in the application. Very, very crucial, right? You, yeah. you lose them, uh, you, they, and the thing is this, they might, they might be a mistake that they want to book, uh, they want to make a meeting for MA1505, mm -hmm. and then they book something for something else because they press the wrong thing, right? But they don't blame themselves, they blame you. <laughs> really, that's, no, that's, no. that's how it's like, yeah. Meetings so, is separate, you can choose the module from there. It's the tasks. Ah, the task. Sorry, the task. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so if they if they create a task wrongly or something like that, yeah. It, although you know it's, it's silly because they press the wrong thing, but they blame you because they I don't know why why I mean you know. So so that's that's what that's yeah, how that's, yeah. yeah that's I the mean, mentality of it. Yeah, we yeah. missed it, but it's very simple. You just get the present module and put it as the header there. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Sorry, that's we right. missed it, but no it, yeah, yeah, we know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, it's an excellent app with a very clear and focused objective that is to assist students in project. Okay, so I'm going to simplify uh, my comments to you into what I like, what I don't like, and what I would like. Okay? So first, the light. Okay, in terms of UI, okay, I concur with Justin. It has a very clean interface with appealing icons that is targeted at the audience you are looking at. So I like that. And for the group leader to be able to be notified of difficulties, well, I think that is a godsend for every group leader. Oh, yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Although the yeah, although the assignee may have a tendency to keep yes, I'm having difficulty. Please help me. Okay, but I think that's a very cool uh, feature that uh, a lot might not have thought of. They might just think of started doing pending completed, but never thought of having difficulties and helping out <laughs> or requesting for help. So that's very cool as well. Okay, the uh, automatic meeting scheduling, okay, is a very good tool as well. To find common time slot is one of the biggest problem that students face. Yeah. yeah, especially in my time here. And if they go through SMS, I think they will rather call each other. <laughs> and this problem is complicated when there's three, four members in the team. Yeah. I ever met in a team of seven. Uh, that is more hell. <laughs> okay, so I will appreciate that. And uh, just a little uh, tiny stuff that you have implemented here and there that makes me want to compliment you in the sense that like for venue auto-complete, you auto-fill in with a list that you already defined. I think that's added convenience and will be appreciated by everyone. Okay, so now I'll go on, let's conclude the light section. Yeah. Okay, it's a very long section. Huh? <laughs> okay, so here's what I don't like. Okay, for the UI, Okay, in terms of the discussion forum, I think it certainly can be improved rather than gray boxes here and there, yeah. which makes it very difficult to read. Gray boxes with... No, but, no, but, no, but the thing is, it's, it, it serves a good function. Yeah. The problem is all they need to do is just display it in a... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's why I'm just it's talking just about UI. UI. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm talking about but UI. The functionality in terms of displaying the data, I think it's great. Correct, correct. It's like a threaded message, you know, looks like a... I have no issue about how the functionality <laughs> goes. It's UI. Okay, yeah. it's UI. Okay? So just take note of the color scheme and the display yeah. of that particular section. Okay? The second is that when you are trying to arrange a common time slot and there is going to be quite a significant amount of time mm -hmm. for the communication and processing to find a common time slot, there got to be a feedback yeah. that we are scheduling, please yeah. wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if I'm the user, I'll just go on clicking. <laughs> okay. uh, it's not working or, I, I, because I don't receive any form of feedback, yeah. not even the normal dot, 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 loading kind of screen. Oh. Okay, so you might want to improve on that as well. And uh, another thing I noticed is that for automatic scheduling, mm -hmm. okay, uh, there is a lack of choice selection for the common time, time slot. That means uh, if you find, I, because I didn't really, correct me if I'm wrong, okay, I didn't really see it clearly. If there is multiple free time slot, will the user be able to select it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, Skip this then. Yeah. Okay. Skip this. Okay. Okay. Next, what I would like to have, uh, and uh, maybe possible feature improvement for you, is that the discussion board. Okay. I noticed this trend uh, is that wherever we are chatting on on discussion board, and they will start to assign tasks. Okay. Okay. At the end of the discussion, you have to exit the app, then go back to the task and go and add it in. So it becomes a duplicate job for maybe, say, the group leader. Okay. So, okay, I, we are having a discussion on the discussion board, and yet I still have to take notes on who is assigned what task. So it would be good, and I would like to have a feature that integrates some form of a handler mm -hmm. in the discussion board such that wherever there is a new task, I can just put maybe colon, hmm. new task, comma, who, then for ta ta ta, and it will get added automatically to the task list or the group list. Yeah. Then that will integrate very perfectly okay. with your task scheduler. Okay, okay? okay. that's all I have. <laughs> so, so a great job guys um, 
Yep, so just keep up the good work and hopefully you can see some good improvements. Huh? Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. We thought of mo some of the enhancements you said, especially basic things like the progress dialogue. Just like a matter of time and since our team is distributed, that is a member from India working for us and you know, she can't access the student info API so the development goes down and stuff like that. But yeah, we appreciate your comments and yeah, we got some good feedback as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what, what, I think ultimately what you guys, you guys have a great app. It's just you. You need to. You need to just clean up. Yeah. The clean UI up a lot of the UI stuff. You know, rethink of how, as a user, you know how how would it be displayed, the colors and everything. Because yeah. I noticed some were white background and some were black background and oh. stuff like that. <laughs> you know, I understand as a student. You know, like it, it, you might not be able to complete it. Com you know, finish it. That and that's one of the reasons why I didn't really uh, complain much about that and really concentrated on. The best points, which is just the uh, the, the features and, and how you guys have thought mm. uh, 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 solve a, a specific problem, which is project management. So yeah. great, great job, great job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.